Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob and today we have an unboxing video and this is quite a special one. Uh, this has come all the way from Grimes, Iowa, USA from our friend Chuck. Um, I recently done the um, Chevy Chevelle for him and that's in the post on its way over to the good old US of A and uh, he not only obviously trusted in me to do a commission for him and he become a patreon member which is you know that's perfect um i truly appreciate that and as a triple whammy he's put together a package for me i don't actually know what's in here um, but he's put together something and he sent it across 77 dollars and 90 cents I kind of I don't really have well any words for that really. It costs so much money, and I do truly appreciate it. Um, yeah, I feel uh, very privileged that anybody could send anything in the post. I feel privileged if anybody comments or watches my video. So you know, it goes uh, up and beyond that. And like I say, I'm kind of uh, uh, speechless really on on how or why someone would do that for me um, but I thank you uh, but anyway let's get into opening up this package it's quite big it's quite heavy it's got some lovely smells and first off we have a note let me check make sure right we're good don't want to show any addresses oh I try and blank them out okay so this was well see in America you guys write it the other way around I was going to about to say first of the 24th no right so uh, January 24th uh, what are we today today is the 2nd of February that I'm recording this I received this a couple of days ago uh, but I've been out of home I think if you see my um, kind of recent post on my Facebook page I was at the Hot Wheels Monster Truck Live which was very cool but anyway um, Rob I hope you enjoy this small box of goodies from here in the USA I've enclosed a few bars of my wife's homemade soaps so that is why this smells beautiful uh, for the boys and your missus I have put in a few items in Iowa and a few cars. The two cars wrapped in bubble wrap are a pair of customs to add to your collection. Oh, well, that's cool. Actually, uh, Chuck has sent me, and kind of, kind of that was where I guess the dialogue really between uh, Chuck and myself kind of opened up. Uh, you know, we were just talking about the die cast cars, and he showed me some uh, pictures of some restorations that he done himself. So, you know, he knows what he's doing too. Um, I love your videos and keep up the great work. God bless. Chuck in big. Grimes, Iowa. That is really lovely. Thank you, Chuck. Um, that will be going up on my wall. So, now I look at everything. Not just, you know, j the packaging itself uh, interests me. So what we've got here, so behind every project is a true value. So that's interesting. Please recycle this bag. Made in the USA. So I've got kind of like a bit of a, a I guess a USA bag collection. And these will be going straight in there. Oh wow. Oh look. So here we have some Iowa license plates so that is very cool oh so what's the difference here so you got oh they are two different numbers and one's got Polk and one's got Dallas I'm assuming these are the town names within the state of Iowa of course to me Dallas in Texas right um, but well there's probably a hundred Dallases perhaps across the USA but uh, yeah they are very cool and they will be going up on my wall uh, very shortly again hopefully you may have seen on my uh, Facebook page where I showed a picture of the uh, the wall oh look at this 
So this is a fresh cherries uh, Moto Max, and I've never seen this brand before. Uh, Diecast replicas. So this is a 1978 Chevy Chevette. So that is very interesting. I need to do some research on this brand. You know, of course, it needs no restoration, but that is a very cool little car that will be going straight into my uh, collection. See, so this is obviously a t shirt. I think there's something else in there too. Right, so we got <laughs> how cool is that? So we got this coupon is good for a free bowl of chili. Uh, George the Chili King driving, and this has been signed. So I shall, <laughs> I want that, that there's no use by date on this, so I shall keep this uh, for whenever I get to go to uh, America. And this coupon is uh, good for a free jumbo tenderloin. And again, this is signed. So this is in Des Moines, uh, Iowa. Now, I could have pronounced that Des Moines, but I know Des Moines, Iowa, I believe are the home of the band Slipknot. And you may or may not be a fan of those guys, but you know, I am. But uh, so we've got George the Chili King. So that is a beautiful car and these are real photographs they're not so look at that car that's a beauty so this is George's own cars um, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna say that's around a 1950 55 Chevy 1955 perhaps somewhere around there and this here, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is something from the 30s. Um, perhaps it's a Ford, but uh, hopefully you guys, more knowledgeable on the American cars, can uh, help me out there. And uh, here we have, and I'd say this is probably my size. George the Chili King lost in the 50s with what appears to be a Mercury that is wicked cool um, I've got a t-shirt on my wall from a previous unboxing it's the Hewitt Trustville uh, Huskies so I'm gonna put that up on the wall um, and go alongside it I may wear it first Oh, so we've got another one of those. Oh, so this is a, an AMC Pacer from 1971. Lovely detail in that. Yeah, that is really cool. So, uh, the Pacer was designed by Richard Teague in 1971 and first produced by AMC in 1975. It's designed ahead of its time. Slightly over 280,000 of these were made. That is cool. I think they come with a V8 engine, didn't they? I don't know how they fit that into uh, such a small car. Now, I think... Let me just uh, get my nose in here. Wow. So, here... Now I believe this is Chuck's wife um, that makes these soaps, but that would be quite fun for the boys to use, for the old, what's that, a centipede or something like that. And you got a lollipop, or an ice lolly. That is such a cool design. Looks like someone's already had a, 
a nice bite out of it. It does look good enough to eat. <laughs> For this one we've got like a a grasshopper type thing. I must admit, I'm a bit scared of the old creepy crawlies. In the UK, we don't really have too much to scare us. Um, I must admit, somewhere like Australia, you know, everybody watches Marty's videos, right? And, you know, that guy, he must have to, every time he pees, just check underneath the seat lid, make sure there's not one of those great big spiders. Oh, I don't know whether I fancy that myself. But anyway, that's cool. Oh, that smells like a... I'm going to open that up, because it almost... I don't know whether it's... Yeah, it kind of almost smells like... Um, like maybe coffee, or, or coffee and cream, or tiramisu, is uh, what I'm getting from that one. So my... Uh, my wife will be playing with these. So there's some, oh that's lovely. Nice shell soap. So yeah, plenty of soaps there. And uh, Chuck, or Mrs. Chuck, from no doubt shortly, once I give these to my wife and children, uh, they will be saying thank you. And not only that, they'll be clean and they'll smell great too. That's all. I'm gonna put, oh wow. Now look at these. I don't know what these are. Or, I'm gonna say, just because of watching um, Lee's videos of Time Rider fame, I'm gonna say these are Tootsie Toys. What does that say? Not, it just says a roadster, I think. That is says that's just got a number one. That one doesn't have anything. That one says a USA. Oh, there we go. So Tootsie Toy, Chicago. That's an earth mover. I don't have any Tootsie toys. And uh, having these five right there is the start of a, a wonderful collection, I think. What's in here? This is quite heavy, this one. Oh, okay. So we've got some nice matchbox cars here. Oh, so this one, oh that's strange, I've never seen that before. This is a Hot Wheels Sentinel 400 limo. That's a funky looking thing. And I'm sure my boys are going to rip that from my hands and want to start playing with that. Oh, that's lovely. So this is a Hot Wheels with a metal base. The glass section in good condition. Of course, this is a, uh, it doesn't say it underneath here, but this would be a Porsche 959. And it's got some lovely bit of weight to it. And this car, I think, deserves to be restored customized put in all those details and i've actually got a set of wheels um, that will probably go perfect on that uh, i know this one's definitely a matchbox this is a roller mat this is a um a planet scout so um is it a roll no it's not a roller uh but yeah planet scout there's quite a few in the series and uh i think danny uh danny starcast disasters is either customize one of these or one from the series so yeah they're pretty cool it's a school bus oh so this is actually a, a matchbox school bus police transport so metal base pretty funky 
Now this one's a Rollomatics. This is the uh, Turbo Fury. And now the tab has gone on both of the wheels. Um, but basically as it drives along, these fans turn around. And again, I think Danny's uh, done a custom on one of these. Oh, beautiful old Hot Wheels. Oh, what's that then? That's different. So of course this is an old Corvette. Um, doesn't say it on there. It's a Hong Kong car. But I wonder what this is. All oh, right. Oh, so it looks like oh that's cool. So you can decide the height that it sits at. Jack it up at the back or lower it down. Well, they don't make them like that anymore, eh? That needs to be restored. Little, is that a crack in the windscreen? I think it might be, we might be able to get away with that. But yeah, that's beautiful, eh? Maybe in a nice candy, a candy blue or a candy red, perhaps. I like this one. So this is a, a Hot Wheels Midnight Otto. That's lovely, that. Just needs a fresh paint job it's not bad on there it's got like a kind of pearlescent white um, but you know added in the details and of course putting some better wheels on there I'd probably want to take this front bit off I don't know I think without that it'll look a bit more mean but yeah that's cool so we've got one here Ah, so this is this is a custom. This is a custom by Chuck. So this he's painted this one himself, and I may or may not have seen this one. So this is a uh, Hot Wheels Monte Carlo. Oh yeah, so you can see that he's drilled this one out, and it's popped back together. And that is a wicked paint job on there, Chuck. Well done, mate. And how cool is it to have uh, somebody else's custom uh, within my own? That is really cool. Thank you very much. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's where. Oh, rare, really? yes. So, this is what uh, Mark T uses. And as an example. So we all use these uh, forceps, or there's another word for them that's supposedly they're not forceps. I'll call them forceps. It doesn't matter. Uh, but anyway, you attach this. And so many times I'm like, oh, okay, I've got this wet car. What do I do with it? And I lean it on top of a radiator or I, I've got like a... Um, uh, a cocktail stick that sticks out and I kind of like put it through put it through here and it just hangs um, but I've just spotted a second one how great is it now that I can safely securely attach that and I'm not going to get any damage to my car so Chuck those are awesome mate thank you very much uh, they're going to go to work straight away. I'm going to put them over here because after this video, I'm going to start another custom. Oh, so this is a. Let me let me uh, oh, let me just get to this one more here, which I believe this is a Chuck custom. Here we are. So this is oh, okay. So this is one of the uh, Tootsie toys. I'm gonna guess. Is this a Tootsie? Yeah. So this is a Tootsie toy, and it's custom painted, adding in the details with some aftermarket wheels there. Lovely job there, mate. And that again will be going in with my. Well, I don't know. Do I put it with my Tootsie toy collection, or in my own custom collection? We'll see, we'll see. Maybe uh, spend time in both areas, eh? Very cool. So this one looks, uh, now, in the 
Oh, I nearly missed these. But in the box here is some some Walmart bags, and these come in handy. There's probably about ten or so in there, and I'll use them. I'll keep one, obviously, for my collection, and then others, you know, I'll just use as and when needed. Uh, but we've got some American coins here, and I've got some American coins but I don't know which one so these are quarters so they're very cool and what we got on the back looks like we've got all different things on the back so this one from 2016 Looks like Shawnee, Illinois. Um, I can't read that bit. But yeah, it looks like a place, I'm guessing, somewhere in the US. Shawnee, that's pretty cool. This one. This one says New Jersey, Ellis Island. So I'm assuming across the US, you can use, you know, whether, whatever state it is, you can, you know, use the same money, right? Uh, this one says E Pluribus Unum. I don't know whether uh, that's in Latin or something. This one, uh, John Brown's Fort, uh, Harper's Ferry, and that is in West Virginia. So that's cool. So thanks again, Chuck, for those. I've got um, a few dollars. I'll put these uh, pictures up as well, Marble, um, along with uh, my letters. It'd be quite cool to have some uh, uh, pictures. And then last but not least, looks like I've got some reading material for tonight. And, oh wow, that is super cool. So first off, let me, we have the number 10. America's Place to Race, Iowa Speedway. So this is a real NASCAR. And I'm just kind of looking at it, you know, thinking, how beautiful is that? But um, for trying to see if there's like a, a team name or, or driver's name. I don't think there is. I think this is like a, just a, Iowa Speedway sponsored. You got the looks like a Lucas Oil on that one. I've actually just bought some Lucas Oil, funnily enough. Um, it's the what is it? It's the Lucas Oil Stop Engine Leaks, something like that. Um, yeah, I've got a car. It's got a bit of a leaky engine, so I'm hoping the Lucas Oil will do the trick. It's got good reviews, so. Fingers crossed, eh? But yeah, they are beautiful and they will be going into my collection. Uh, but going alongside this, I'm assuming... So we've got the Iowa Speedway. So the 2010 Fan Guide. So this is obviously all around the area in Iowa. Kind of how to get there. I guess what to expect when you're there. Things around the area. All the sponsors there. And then. 
So these are the drivers and their hometowns, their sponsors. Like I say, I think I've got some uh, reading to do here, haven't I? Couple of books here. We've got, oh, right, so here's a couple of uh, drivers. Uh, I can pronounce Brad, but I'll have a go. Keselowski. We don't really have names like that in the UK. Keselowski. And, ah, uh, oh, that one I can say. Mike Skinner. That's a normal, well, I say a normal name. It's a normal name to me. Um, but yeah, that is cool. And then we've got all bits and pieces in here of the, looks like, a, maybe it's like a returns to Iowa Speedway. So is this like a, an Iowa only perhaps place? I'm going to have to uh, read up and research. Uh, but anyway, Chuck, you know, blown away, mate. Um, thank you so very much. Uh, you know, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, not only trusting in me to, um, you know, to commission me to do this uh, Chevy Chevelle for you, which I know you still haven't got at the time of this recording. Um, so I do hope that uh, you like it. Um, and I kind of wish I'd received, you know, this before sending it. You know, maybe I could have put in a couple of other things from my local area. But you never know, sometime in the future. Um, but yeah, you know, to become a patron and to send something like this is, uh, yeah, it's mind-blowing. Um, thanks again, mate. Um, hopefully you like the car. I love everything in here. This is going to keep me up all night now reading, but uh, I'm going to go and enjoy this. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.